The week-long capacity workshop for religious leaders, health professionals, and media personnel in Africa discuss the need to increase access and advocacy on quality sexual reproductive and health rights. Speaking at the workshop, Professor Ahmed noted that the population of sub-Saharan Africa is represented by 49% adolescent youth who are less informed about their sexual rights and development. According to him, majority of the active adolescent youth have less knowledge about contraceptive and its use. This, he believes, has led to increase in teenage pregnancy among the youth. He therefore called on African leaders to take a critical look at adolescent population to the establishment of youth-friendly clinic that will educate, promote privacy and confidentiality of the youth. You need to develop a nation. You should concentrate on adolescents. Adolescents of today is the men of tomorrow, is the leaders of near future. So we have to concentrate on adolescents' development and in the meantime, keeping their health and well-being by education, by information, uh, correct information, by uh, services, friendly, uh, use, uh, use friendly clinics should be available everywhere where the adolescents can get the services needed with the privacy and the confidentiality he needs and in a, a price he can afford. And in, uh, by, by this, we, we will save millions of adolescents in Africa from having uh, HIV AIDS and sexually transmitted disease, from having incorrect information, from having unwanted pregnancy and all the complications around disease. The co-chairman of the Christian Connection for International Health, Dr. Douglas Hubeck said there's a need to work across religion to arrive at a better solution in the education of youth in making choices about reproductive health. But also in terms of pregnancy and sexually transmitted uh, infections, these are uh, on everyone's mind and rightfully so. And we need to, to work across religions and in harmony to come up with good solutions about educating youth so that they can make responsible decisions for themselves and for their future families. The Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Uganda, His Grace Stalin Tangali said, the church is not against family planning, but its promotion must be targeted at married couples who need it in birth spacing. From Kampala, Uganda, Noah Nash for Vasa One News.